Well, my name is Guilherme, Guy for uh, people that know me here in the Hortus. And I take care of the tropical high greenhouse, the one we are, we are now, and the rose collection outside, the Rosarium. So first I'd like to show a tree, which is the Hura Creptans. It's a tree in Portuguese known as Asacu tree. It's native from, the, from South America and uh, grows uh, happily in the banks of the Amazon River in, uh, in the Amazonian area of South America. It's very interesting because it's a tree that has a very light wood because it grows super fast and uh, it can reach up to 60 meters high. And this tree, the wood, is used to, as a floaters by the Amazonian people, which uh, makes the a very unique landscape. All these floating houses, people build their houses, boats, and even uh, uh, floating gardens, growing vegetables and fruits on the Amazonian river. Another interesting strata of the uh, rainforest are the epiphytic strata, which are composed by plants that grow on other plants. Different from parasitic plants, which uh, take advantage of their host, epiphytic doesn't take uh, direct advantage of their host. The only thing they do is to grow in a, more, um, in, a, in a more advantageous position in the forest. They grow up in the canopy, taking more light and water, but they don't harm their host at all. If they would grow in, on the ground, they would get much less water and much less uh, light. So they have their way adapted up there in the canopy. They feed from uh, debris, from rotting leaves, from uh, bird droppings, and they get humidity from, from rains and uh, from mist eventually. Most of the, those plants are composed by orchids, um, ferns, mosses, club mosses, and, and bromelias, of course, in South America. The way I take care of the tropical trees here uh, is not very natural way, because as they are tropical, they, they grow extremely fast. And growing extremely fast means that they will block the sunlight for other plants, which also we don't want that. So I have to prune them quite often, but not uh, extreme pruning, otherwise they don't recover for the, for, to, to feed themselves on the sunlight. So what I do mainly is pruning them, making sure they don't grow against uh, uh, windows and, uh, and the roof and they don't block uh, sunlight, essential sunlight for other plants. To grow some tropical plants at your home, uh, choose a plant that fits your house. Don't, don't grow uh, huge banana plants or huge palm trees. They look very nice in a greenhouse, but they, don't, they will not look happy and nice in your living room. They need specific conditions and specific air, air humidity, which normally we don't have in our living room. And uh, if, if, you grow, if you happen to have smaller plants, smaller tropical plants, be sure that they are uh, watered almost every day and they are in a bright spot and they don't get spider mites, which love the dry condition and the tenderness of uh, tropical plants. In one of our trees here, the Austonia scolaris, uh, there's ecological research being done. They collect uh, sap of this tree to check for uh, anti-cancer compounds. It's a plant closely related to vinca, the common vinca that we grow in our gardens, which is already used as a cancer medicine. And there's a lot of potential in, the, in, in, those, in this tree here.